Well, I was looking at the experience of men who had received a diagnosis of prostate cancer after they were 65. So the sort of the thing being that they were already, they considered themselves sort of slightly older anyway. And uh, what really one of the significant things was that the prostate cancer was just one of the many things that these men had to contend with. Sometimes that was other diseases like diabetes um, or blood pressure. You know, and then also they had kind of caring responsibilities as well. So in kind of in essence, I, there was not much, despite most men who have prostate cancer being over the age of 65, most of the research had not really looked into what it's actually like for them. So they'd all survived at least five years, so really they were trying to get on with their lives. And prostate cancer or the consequences of prostate cancer was just one thing among many that they had to sort of manage. And quite often they, why it was called in the end my brush with prostate cancer was because compared to a lot of the other things going on in their lives, it wasn't really the most significant. But we tend to think with cancer that it is going to be the most important thing. Um, and so really my conclusions and my recommendations for practice were that we really needed to work with these men in partnership and with primary care so that we weren't making a big deal about prostate cancer. But if they had something um, happen where they wanted to kind of raise issues or they wanted to discuss things, then we act had to actually be able to respond to that. So it's really about them having a fluctuating hierarchy of concerns and we needed to be mindful of where prostate cancer was in that hierarchy at any time and not just assume that it was top of the pile and certainly not bring them back to hospital every six months to every year for no real reason other than to just remind them that they had had prostate cancer. So I think really sort of looking to the future it just showed about how probably a lot of long-term conditions are managed in primary care anyway and we need to work with our primary care colleagues to see how actually cancer can be included in that so that they have the confidence to manage it um, from the person's perspective rather than always medicalising it. So there's a lot of it was around person-centred care which is what I'm interested in.